As a test of your abilities, the king has appointed you as a regent over a small parcel of land. Since we must keep our armies in the field well supplied, you are to build the town into a farming center of no less than six farms. Construction of a barracks for defense is also advised, as our scouts have reported orc patrols in the area. Orcs around Grand Hamlet are becoming increasingly brazen in their attacks, and our spies inform us that they are amassing a large army to march against the town. The king is sending you, along with a small detachment of troops, to rally the people and defend the town against all opposition. Hands raiding parties routed, now is the time for us to secure a lasting peace in the area around Grand Hamlet. You must seek out the orcish outpost of Kairos that lies deep within the swamps of sorrow and destroy it. It has been some 20 months since Sir Lothar, one of the Crown's greatest heroes, led an expedition into the Dead Mines to search for the Lost Tome of Divinity. They were never heard from again. However, the Great Knight has recently appeared to the Abbot of Northshire in a vision, battered and pleading for assistance. King Lane has ordered you to lead a detachment of warriors and healers into the mines in an attempt to find Sir Lothar, heal him, and bring him and any other survivors back alive. The Forest of Elwyn is a strategic key to securing the borderlands. An outpost near the southeast edge of the forest will serve as your stronghold. The king has assigned one of his knights to aid you, so that your task of ridding the area of Blackhand's dark minions may be more readily completed. The monks of Northshire Abbey are under siege by a band of warriors that have been convinced by enemy agents to fight against the crown. You will be given a complement of knights to lead to the abbey, which is already under attack. Ride hard and fast, as you must prevent its destruction. When you have secured the abbey and beaten back these treacherous curves, you must then move to destroy the enemy at their source. Raiding party has completely overrun the village of Sunnyglade. Our scouts report that the survivors have been taken to a hidden orcish compound to serve as slaves. You must take a detachment of warriors and rescue the group of peasants that are imprisoned somewhere in the orc camp. Our intelligence confirms that all of the prisoners are together and that you must destroy the enclosure to open a path for their escape. The rebuilding of Sunnyglade is also of the utmost importance as you will need their assistance in destroying the orcish slaves. A new crisis has arisen that threatens to end the lives of all who would serve the king. The evil warlock Medivh has begun draining the soul of the land itself to increase his dark powers. You must take a party into his tower and destroy him before he summons enough energies to devastate all who would oppose him. Beware his mastery of the black arts, for legend speaks of his ability to command the demons of hell. The 
time has come to take the battle into Black Hand's own domain. King Lane has ordered a full assault upon the orbs, demanding that this plague that spreads across the kingdom be eradicated. To the east of the borderlands lies the Black Morass, where the Orcish hordes make their encampments. You are to lead an army into this foul region and destroy every trace of their dark presence. Runners have arrived and informed you of grave news. King Lane lies dead this day, assassinated by the treacherous Verona at Stormwind Keep. His last command was that you should assume the mantle of war leader and end this battle that has drained the land of its resources, and now its king. Scouts report that deep within the Black Morass lies one of Black Hand's darkest seats of power, the Temple of the Dead. No peasants dare approach the vile temple, and only the bravest of war soldiers have agreed to accompany you on this mission. You must strike boldly and without air, for there will be no reinforcements. Here beats the diseased and malevolent heart of Black Hand's plagued lands. The sister towns of Rockard and Stonard are all that stand between the forces of the kingdom and Black Hand's stronghold, Black Rock Spire. After conferring with your war chiefs, the path to victory lays clear. You must destroy Rockard and Stonard, thereby cutting off all lines of support and supplies, so that the final offensive can be made upon Black Rock Spire. Rock Spire stands before us. The skies above the reeking swamp fill with the gathering thunderheads that spell doom for the loser in this final confrontation. Tension hangs like a heavy cloak on your shoulders as your troops prepare for the battle ahead. Above the din and chaos that swirls about the battlefield stands the Castle of Black Hand, its gaze sweeping down upon the battlefield where the destiny of the land will be decided. Destroy the stronghold and those who would seek to defend it, and Azeroth will be freed from Black Hand's poisoned grip forever. The fall of Black Rock Spire spelled final victory for the forces of Azeroth. With Black Hand slain and their stronghold destroyed, the few scattered orcs that remained were quick to bow before your might. A celebration ensued that lasted for many days and nights, with music and joyous festivities resounding throughout the land. The people of the kingdom have come from miles around to gather at Stormwind Keep, and are delighted by a display of mystic sights and sounds provided by the court conjurers, while being treated to a feast of unequal splendor. Amidst this celebration, your ascension to the throne is acknowledged by your new subjects, and you are given the honorarium and defender of the crown. As the evening celebration continues into the early hours of morning, you retire to the sanctity of your throne. Story for a 